Subdivision 1 of the town law, I hereby make the following statements of all fees and monies received by me in connection with my office during the month stated above, that is the month of January 2023, accepting only such fees and monies the application of payment of which are otherwise provided for by the law. One dog license for the $5, uh, the total is $5 for the month. Took less time to do the dog license. <laughs> That's all I got. All those in favor? Oh, this one too? Which one is? Oh, you got more? 
Detail of other revenue transactions. Uh, one birth certificate, six death certificates. Is, is this one right? Uh, sewer system, nine of those, two for the water district, a total of 18 sales of a total fee of 1,770. That's it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> motion to accept. Oh, oh, you went first. You're <laughs> second. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. So carried. Uh, Diane. Uh, there are 299 unpaid tax bills. And I've collected one million three hundred sixteen thousand three hundred ninety-eight dollars. And how many are not coming up? Two hundred ninety-nine. Yeah, average. That's, yeah, that's it was busy. Yeah. January was really busy. Okay. <clears throat> Motion to accept the tax collector's report. So sure moved. So sure moved. We have a, a okay. second. Bob. All those in favor, say aye. Uh, Any aye. opposed? Thank you. Sewer district operators report. You, you're on a roll. You can do that one too. Happy to. From Travis Castle. This is a monthly update for the West Conesville Water Waste Wastewater Treatment Facility. These are the highlights in your sewer district for the previous month. The average daily flow for the month of December was 2,703 gallons a day. The overall average daily flow for the year of 2022 was 3,463 gallons per day. Kinsley has completed the annual service visit on these two backup generators within the sewer system. The technician noted that the gen set at the main pump station has an oil leak and advised that he would need to complete a dye test to determine the source of the leak. We were advised that Kinsley would have to come back to perform this test. We will advise the town part board when Kinsley will be on site to complete the test. The heating system is operational with no issues being noted. Clean uh, the flow meter flume. The propane level is at 60%. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Motion to accept the sewer district operators report. Make motion. Ellie makes the motion. Okay. Bob seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Historian's report. Oh, that's me. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited to report that uh, we were able to find the deed that we needed to finalize all of the paperwork needed for the Pomeroy Foundation, uh, which means we, pending the Board of Trustees for the Foundation, will have a marker um, in the somewhat near future for the Couchman House. Um, and it will be fully funded by them. I can't tell you what it's going to say yet, other than it's going to be a merger of two that we propose. Um, and hopefully it will speak to his local and national significance and the history of the house. Uh, again, I can't tell you the exact wording of that, but it'll happen. Um, the Combsville Historical Society will also be funding a um, historical marker for the former Manor Hill Creamery. Um, that was denied by the foundation on the basis that um, <laughs> there, there isn't a part of the creamery building still standing, which is false. The garage is there. Um, but that's okay. We're going to pay for it. Um, and the Historical Society has a number of upcoming events and things that we're working on. Um, our next big event is April 3rd, is our annual meeting at the Horseshoe, Horseshoe Cafe. Thank you. It's been a long day. Um, <laughs> And in May, we have Robert and Johanna Titus coming to speak to us um, about the geological history of the area. Everyone's invited to that. And I submitted a uh, piece of writing to the Maple Festival on Peter Cashman that hopefully will be published come April with the Copeland Square County Maple Festival event. Thank you. That's what I have. Excellent. Also, also answers some emails. But also what? Answers some emails and things like that. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I can't remember what they are. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. I'll make the motion we accept Ken's report. Great. Kelly makes the motion. Second. Second. Second from one. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Mm -hmm. Any opposed? Yes. Carry. Do you have Tyler's report? I have Tyler Lotto's <laughs> report, the highway superintendent. 
Uh, this report will show some of the key items the highway department worked on during the month of January 2023. We filled in a washout on Bates Church Road and cleared a good portion of the ditch that was plugged up. Filled in very bad ruts on Pangman Road and Wood Road to bind those areas up with all the freezing and thawing we have had. Plowed, salted, and sanded for a bunch of nuisance ice slash snowstorms. Cut some trees and chipped some brush around town that were causing the ditches to be plugged up, hoping the weather lets us get some more done within the next month. Spoke with Capital Tractor about new boom mower tractor looking like arrival could be early to mid-February. Purchased all new PPE, vests, hard hats, and some chaps. Everything we had was out of date or ruined. Working on getting some of the guys' certifications up to date, dig safe, MSHA, game of logging, CPR, first aid, OSHA. Excellent, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, just a couple comments. The reason why Tyler's not here, um, there's um, something going around with the highway. Every one of them are not well. Sick. They're getting better. And the worst of it was late last week, but uh, that's why Tyler said he'd come in if he could. I said, please don't. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so that's why normally he would be here to speak for it. And he did mention the boom wall, and that's the one that we have. We're going to fund Did you have a brush hog on it? <sighs> or well, what do you mean by that? The flail? Yes, it does. The flail oh, or the a boom brush hog? I know it's got the boom. Yeah. Is it I can't answer. Brush hog type? He said that they were going to be a capital it. tractor. I think I've seen it today. Oh, yeah? Okay, it's in. Because there's a brand new one sitting up there in uh, Greenwood, a capital track. Yeah, that's them. They said there's some dealer things that they have to do before it's ready for us. But we need a, we need a notice because that money's sitting in the, um, uh, the interest-bearing reserve accounts. It just takes a day or two to get it moved over. But anyway, okay. A motion to accept the highway super's report. Do we have a motion? Lori makes the motion. I'll second. Five seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Any opposed? Carried. We are making it. I'm fast moving here, but I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to slow you down. They are the corners. <laughs> what we expect. Well, that doesn't go in the minutes. <laughs> Yeah, the part of the course shot. Okay. Uh, no, but there is some things I do want to share as far as the county <coughs> is concerned. Some good, some not so good. New York State uh, has, well, the governor's budget's been released. And I look at everything, who can? But it was brought to our attention by the New York State Association of Counties that there's some things in there. If you wanted to punish a county, or any county, not just Scaharie, throughout the state, so I have an upstate, downstate thing. Mission accomplished, because for the last 20 years, and I don't know how they come up with it, but the federal government gives money back to the counties by way of um, a rebate or, or on what they save. Don't ask me how they figured this out, but um, money comes from the federal government, goes to Albany, and then it's fanned out to the counties. Terrific. We, we, we booked it, too, in our budget. And our budget is not the same fiscal year as theirs, making it even worse. So by the calculations that we have, they've decided they're going to hold, keep the money that the federal government gives us, $729,000 or $730,000. Poof. Well, I mean that, and we're the second or third smallest one in the state. There's some places that we're talking millions. County of Albany, over eight million dollars. Now, seven hundred and twenty-nine thousand dollars in Schoharie County equals almost a four percent property tax increase if we weren't able to make that up somewhere. I mean, it, it's just insane. No reason offered. No, no nothing. But the state, by the way. They cost them a lot to build a football stadium. Oh, that's right. They need it for Buffalo. Um, that was a good one, by the way. Um, this, I'm trying to say this correctly. We've um, talked to the state about it, or the state's been nothing. No reason why, No, just that they're going to do it. And what I was leading up to was, 
but they've got it in their budget because they have a fair amount in their fund balance. We measure ours in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. They measure theirs in the billions. They've decided they're going to increase their fund balance to have a reserve for two years in case there's an emergency. First of all, that's going to come out of our taxes in the state. And they're withholding from us. And this isn't just a Skyrim County thing. This is just all over. So another, another thing, actually two more things. We were successful in fighting the state on how they were changing the assessment for energy products or energy projects. And what happens is, the net effect, without going into all the details, is like the one in Sharon Springs, an 86% discount on their assessment. So who, for a huge solar project, where someone's going to make a ton of money, not even, not even counting the, uh, the uh, uh, subsidies that they're getting from the states and the tax credit, but now someone's going to have to make that up. And we say, for instance, Sharon, that doesn't bother us. It, yes, it does, because that, that knocks down 86% their county, school, and uh, town taxes. I don't know if it has anything to do with their village tax. But they lost. They lost in court. So what did they do? They had a new law made up, which is legal, countermanding everything they lost in court. And it's all on the backs of the upstate counties. It's all for energy. You've heard me say this before. Mm -hmm. Not one kilowatt is going to benefit us. That is all going downstate, particularly in the New York City area. Right. Well, they're at it again. Uh, last but not least, there's mothers in there, but I'm not, these are the three that I find the most grievous. When we have these tax auctions, like we did, um, last May, I think it was, you lose some, you win some. You know, you, you're, you're happy to collect the sales, the, the, uh, the, prop, the overdue property tax. Sometimes you do make more. Last year we made almost a million dollars net on top of expenses and past due taxes. Well, the state's got this brilliant idea now. It's in the budget. I don't know how you can do everything in the budget and call that a law, but they do. Smarter people than me figured out how to do that, I'm sure. The money that you make in excess of what's owed, you have to give it to the owner that you foreclosed on. You can't make this up. So now somebody has a hard time selling something. You know what the smart thing is? I'll let them take it for the taxes. They'll sell it because I would have paid the taxes yeah, anyway. Yeah, I'll get and, uh, I'll get, and I don't have to pay a real estate agent 6%. I mean, now we're going in the real estate business. You can, it, it just, like I said, this is like if you wanted to punish the, the state, the, the lo local counties and towns, they've done it. So there's a huge uproar, and I don't know what's going to come out of it, because frankly, they've got the support, mostly from downstate, and uh, even upstate. Or the power and the money's going, why wouldn't you have the support? You're right. There are, a, though, I'm told, a number of, uh, let's just say, a lot of this, there is some bipartisan support in the, in the upstate New York saying enough is enough. Even people there on the other side of the aisle are saying, you can't keep doing this to my people mm -hmm. for the sake of New York. <laughs> so anyway, that said, there's one good thing I can share with you that um, sales tax continues to go up, which means people are buying things, their goods and services. And our sales tax year to year that was collected in Scarry County is up 12%, which means our portion of it is also up 12%, which is a big, which is a big deal for us. So we're probably pushing 30, $32,000. And mortgage taxes was up to, it's not going to be up this year, that's for sure. But uh, we're doing well with that. But that's not through anything that the state did. So. Um, that's it. That's my uh, rant on the state. But I think it's a legitimate rant. Okay, budget amendments. Not much, but there's a couple things that came up and you see in your package there. Um, nothing really big, but um, I want to stay on top of it. 
as we go through the year so there's no, you know, no flooding at the end of the year. And uh, using a different technique now, uh, if we get more money than we thought, which we do often, particularly like with the sales tax and things like that, that goes into the fund balance. And rather than swizzle money all the time around $100 here, $200 there, we will, and I've checked to see if we can do it, we will take it out of the appropriated fund balance. It doesn't change anything, it's just an easier way of keeping track of what you needed beyond the budget. And you still can't do that if you don't have any money sitting there. So it still has to be supported by additional uh, revenue. So, so you can see this, what's the biggest one? 600 bucks or $800. So, comments, questions? Favor? Aye. 
Right. Any opposed? Mm -hmm. Carry. You second that, Bob? Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Couchman House update. Um, I did get a second uh, um, quote, and it was a good quote, but um, it was decided that maybe we would check there a few more. I did ask a few people, local people, and... Uh, for the electric you're talking about? Yes, for the electric. I'm sorry, yes, for the electric. So I have two more people lined up I have to meet with and, and get a quote. We weren't going to do a whole lot of work when it was frigid anyway. So, and... Um, he did tell me, actually both of the gentlemen that came and looked at it, I won't take a quote unless they look at the place and walk through it, but there's a fixed price for putting in the 100, uh, 200 uh, amp service, but he said this is an older house, there could be things in here that we can't see until we move, make connections, move things around, so I, I don't know how they can give us a fixed price other than uh, an hourly rate, so that would be part of the consideration for the board. As to who we hire. How many more outlets for like office? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're ready to do that yet. Okay, though. just a basic. Yeah, right now we want to have the power to That's start right. working yes. in the building, you know, even if it's a couple of rooms at a time. Because yeah. it's a slow process. So that's where we are right now. And. Uh, oh, yeah. <coughs> Another dumpster? Is two dumpsters now? Yes. No, it's one dumpster. You mean two dumpsters there right now? That's all there was. No, one. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> right? Yeah, well, there's only one when I was there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was seeing. <laughs> well, I did go over there. I guess it was a couple weeks ago, and the dumpster was there. I I, I threw a few things in there, but I. I I didn't last long, it was cold. <laughs> um, but I noticed next time I went, just about all of the material from the chimney that had come down was in the dumpster. Mm. So I knew right away who that <laughs> Thank you. I needed something to do. Uh, we'll pop that dumpster off. We have some material in that sun room or whatever room we're going to call it. But, uh, and we also have still have some stuff upstairs. Remember the uh, all those toys and... yeah boxes of stuff. Uh, yeah. We topped off the two dumpsters before, so we'll top off this dumpster. Do you have a date? Are you going to get some volunteers together? Or? I don't think we're going to get volunteers right now. Well, maybe we will, but it's 50 degrees. <laughs> no, you know what? I tell you what. It may be cold when we do it. You go in the house, it's even colder. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's very funny. But yeah, so that's the, I mean, we're, we'll get it done soon, but I, I would like to try and get two more quotes. And I have two people I'd like to ask to bring in. So hopefully by the time we have our next meeting, I'll, I'll run it by everybody, but we'll, before we'll get quotes. And it's a shame you really would like people that are local, but they're busy. They're absolutely busy. That's what we'd like to do. It's what I'd like to do. <coughs> um, that's all I really have. Um, told you it wouldn't be that bad. Um, we'll need a motion to review the invoices. And does anybody have any uh, thing they want to bring up while we're here? I've got nothing. Okay. Hearing none. I'll accept the motion to review the invoices, and you're certainly welcome to hang around, but we're going to adjourn after that. Mm -hmm.